most of the internet is currently funded by a business model that depends on the systematic and mass violation of rights. And that's not normal and it's not acceptable. Threats to human rights are everywhere in the digital world. This kind of great interruption to our lives has made us question everything, including what it is that these technologies are doing to us. Technology products today are not worthy of our trust. The greatest coup on the public has been this idea that we get to use all these tools for free. They're just tools. They don't cost us anything. We can participate or not participate with them. It's an invisible cyber war. The people don't even know that they're being manipulated by these forces. This idea of surveillance capitalism is spreading throughout the economy. What is different today is that we've never had a screen that is personalized specifically for us. Truly, I think we're borderline a Black Mirror episode. How do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. We become more predictable, more quantifiable. Let's face it, the companies that stand to make money are powerful. They are multi-billion dollar companies. And Silicon Valley is like capitalism on steroids. If Google is not responsible for its own products, who is? We should be asking, who benefits? Because each one of these things makes our life a little bit more convenient. But there's a cost to that convenience. And the cost is often hidden. And it's always much, much greater than the benefit.